Welcome guys, my name is Jackson and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Flying AI Marketplace package. Uh, it's very simple, once you've bought it and you have added the asset pack to your project, um, everything's in the Flying AI folder. Um, if you go to Maps, there'll be a map called Demo AI Flying Map or something similar to that, it might change, but it's this map here. Um, and if you go ahead straight away and press Simulate, you can see that we've got all these different flying AI instantly moving around to different patrol points. So there's a few different ones moving at different speeds, as you can see. Um, so if you want to set up your own flying AI, I'll quickly show you how to do that. Just create a new level uh, default. Um, you just want to create a new blueprint class and make it of type character. It needs to be of type character. That's very important. Um, so open that up, all you have to do to turn it into a flying AI is just type flying AI component in the top left and give it the flying AI movement component. Um, let's give him mesh as well, just so we can see, see that there's actually something there. So I'll just give him a cube so we can be a flying cube. Uh, there are some settings over on the right, so if you select the flying movement component, you've got destination tolerance, max velocity, they're both pretty self-explanatory. Direction alpha, this is a value between zero and one and this determines how quickly your AI can change direction. Now the speed alpha is between zero and one and this determines the acceleration and deceleration um, up and from the max velocity and the rotation alpha is how quickly it can rotate when it changes direction. So they're all between zero and one, play around with those. Um, the only other thing you need to do is click your blueprint up the top, change the AI controller class to my AIC and then what you'll need to do is just go over to your content browser and just type in flying AI, find the flying AI BP parent, underscore parent, and just copy this code right there, okay? So copy that and then paste that into begin play of your new character. And then you can just delete that BT variable and then just select a behavior tree down there. So this is how you can set it up with a preset behavior tree. So let's go flying AI patrol and chase. That's what it does, it's patrolling and it chases the player if it sees the player. Um, so if we now go back to new blueprint and just drop our flying eye in there, if we want him to use the patrol points, just type patrol into the content browser and drop some of these in. And what the AI will do is it'll just look for which patrol points he can see from wherever it is, and then it will pick a random one and then move to it. So I'm just gonna save my map that I've created. And if I hit play, He's a, bit, he's a bit too quick because he started right on that patrol point. So if I go to my new blueprint and just drop his speed down a little bit because he was a bit too fast. Let's go to 300 or something like that. So he moves a bit slower. And let's just start him in the middle a little bit. All right, save everything. Now you can see he's moving towards his patrol points. Okay. Um, and now if I jump in and press play, once he sees me, He's looking at me now, so he's spotted me, and he's moving to random locations around me. Okay? So if you want to play around with these behavior trees, um, just search for BT down here, and you've got a few of them that you can use. Uh, flying AI Patrol and Chase is the main one. So in that, you can see we've got the behavior for chasing the player, the behavior for using the patrol points, and the behavior for rolling ra uh, roaming randomly. So all of these basically consist of finding a flying location, so it's got a bunch of settings you can play with, and then a flying move to node. So you can build your own behavior trees, use preset ones, do whatever you want. Tear it apart, play with it, you know, have fun. Um, I think that's basically all I needed to say. So, oops, uh, that's my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, if you've got any questions about any of this, uh, drop me a comment if anything's unclear. Um, thank you for purchasing it. I hope it's helpful in your games. Send me anything that you make with it so I can see it because that would be cool. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it, guys. So I'm going to leave that one there. Um, see you next time.